What's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to sign documents with the iPhone and this will work whether they're emailed to you, whether you have scanned files and I'm even going to show you how to sign PDFs on the iPhone as well. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start out by using the mail application that's built into the iPhone, but I'm also gonna show you how to use Gmail and scan files, things like that. So there are chapters in the description if you wanna skip ahead to what you use. Otherwise, you can follow along, and we're gonna start by opening the mail application. So in the mail application, all you wanna do is locate the email that has the file you wanna work with. So that's this one right here where it says sign here. This is actually a PDF file. And if it's a photo file or anything like that, it's gonna be very similar in terms of the process. So we can see a preview of what's attached. We can tap on it to open a full preview and we can see how many pages. This one in particular is just one. And we're gonna use the markup tool at the top right. Now you'll see this throughout your iPhone and when you tap on it, it brings up all of your pens, pencils, and writing tools that you can use to write on anything on the page. So there are a few ways that you can sign documents on the iPhone and in particular, this one here, you can use by pinching with two fingers and then tapping on one of the writing options. So for example, this one, if we select it, we can change what the thickness of it is going to be. We can choose a color if we'd like. Usually if you're signing something like this, it's gonna be black or blue. And once you have it selected, the color, you just take your finger and you sign your name. Now, once it's signed, you can tap done at the top left and you get some options here where you can reply to all, which is everybody in the email, and it'll be replied with this attachment now signed, or you can select new message here and it'll pull up a new message with the signed document. You can add the contact who's going to receive it and you can send it out. This is a great way if you're just going to sign one document here and there. But if you plan to use this tool as something to speed up and be more productive with what you're doing, you want to add a signature that you can use quickly and regularly. So what we'll do is we'll tap markup again in our attachment. And this time we're going to tap the plus option. Now, when you tap plus, it's going to bring up signature here. And if we tap signature, we can add a signature to our iPhone that's going to stay there and all we have to do is select it. It's gonna save us time in signing. So at the section here where it says sign your name using your finger, we're gonna do just that. We'll tap done at the top and you'll see it'll appear right in our document right now. We could just take this here, we can drag it around, we can resize it. And if you ever lose it like this, just tap on it. It'll bring back those little borders. And you can also tap away and pinch to zoom like this. You can move the file around. If you ever accidentally draw something, you can tap the undo at the top. But for the most part, once you have it in place, you're done and you're gonna tap done once again. You can reply to all or send it out as a new message and it's signed, ready to be sent. Now, since we added a signature to our file, let's say we had another document. Again, we'll just use this for example that we need signed. We can tap markup, we can tap the plus right here, and we tap signature. Our signature is available to us right here. We don't have to type it in anymore. We just tap on it, take it to where we need it, resize it down, and we're good to go. And this is great, and you can add multiple signatures here if you want as well. So let's say you needed um, to add initials as well. So let's just say we're gonna tap the plus this time up here and add some initials. So let's just say whatever, done. We've got those initials in there as well. So if we needed to add initials somewhere, we could as well. So it's just gonna make things faster for you by adding the signature straight in here. And now we always have those available to us. If you do receive files that are scanned, for example, this one right here, you can see it says tap to download. This one here is actually a PDF file as well, but it's a scanned document that was just turned into a PDF. So you may have to tap to download it, but once it's downloaded, you can tap on it. You can see this is something that was scanned. It's a sign here. It's very hard to see, but uh, you can kind of see it's written on paper. Whether it's a photo or anything like that, you can still use the markup tool in the same fashion. Add your signature in, size it down, so that it fits nicely in the place. You can zoom back out so you can see how it looks. Tap done and then send that out exactly the same way. So no matter how these files come in, whether they're PDFs, photos, 
anything like that will work very similar. Now, if you don't use the mail application, let's say you use Gmail or Yahoo Mail, it's not going to work exactly the same, mainly because Gmail and Yahoo are not Apple, so they don't get to take advantage of the seamlessness of using an Apple product. So let's just say we're in our Gmail account. We've got our file right here. We're going to tap on it. So it's a PDF, this one. We tap. It's that same file we were working with. This one's got one signature on it. Um, and all I'm going to do this time, instead of having the markup tool at the top, we have a share option. We're going to tap that anyway. And we have markup right here. So we tap markup. And let's say we needed to sign another spot here, like right here. We're going to tap our plus, either tap our signature, either add one in, or just use one you already have on file there. Put it in place. Now we've got our section signed as well. We tap done, and this time we have to save the file or delete it. So obviously we'll save it. And what that does is it opens our files application. Now if you've never used files before, it's actually this right here. It's the files application, and this handles all the files and folders that you download onto your phone. So let's just go back to our email. And we're going to choose the file location where we want to save it. Now, traditionally, I leave it on my iPhone right here and I tap save, but you can add folders at the top and do whatever you like. But we'll just tap save for simplicity here. We'll go back, we'll open files. And we remember we saved it to on my phone. And now we can see we have the document called sign here. So if we open that document, we can see it's signed and we can tap the share icon at the bottom left. And that's going to give us options here to send it out. So if we want to send it out using our Gmail account, we can. All we have to do is enter in a to field, so whoever that is going to, and then we just send it out using the little button up there. You can see your signed document is at the bottom attached, and that's that process. Now, it's going to be the same whether you're using uh, Gmail on your Safari app or Yahoo Mail or whatever mail clients can be very similar. And that's just how it's going to work. Now, if you have a document or file or something you need to sign that's on your Photos app for whatever reason, let's just open Photos here. And for example, we have this one right here. Not very professional, but let's say you needed to sign this as well. You can do it straight from the Photos app. So we just tap Edit at the top. Tap the three dots right here. You've got Markup. It's available, and it kind of flips this into the tool that we can actually write on. We can zoom in, it does say sign here. It's kind of hard to see, it's that same document we were looking at, the scanned one. We tap our plus, we tap our signature, we add or remove one, or we just add one straight in there. And again, we can resize it to fit nicely. Tap done, and it's right there. We tap done right here. Now the photo is saved in our photo library here with the signature attached. Again, I'm not 100% sure what the reason for this would be, but if a situation like that ever comes up, that's how you would do it. And then you can always tap the share icon here and you can send it out through Gmail. You can send it out through your mail application as well for whoever may or may not need it. So that is pretty much the process on how to sign documents with the iPhone or how to sign PDFs on the iPhone. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're looking to learn more about your iPhone, I have tons of iPhone videos that are extremely helpful, tips, tricks, and tutorials. There's a playlist in the description for those. Definitely check them out. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.